When Africans hear about etiquette, the first reaction we get is, oh, come on, that's a Western culture. That's, you know, what the white people do, the people that open doors for a lady, the fork and knife sermon. And we think to ourselves, we don't use fork and knife in our homes. We are Africans. We use our hands to eat. And as much as I will agree with you and say you are right, that is just the tip of an iceberg. Etiquette does not just teach about fork and knives and men opening doors for ladies or pulling out the chair. Etiquette has a fundamental teaching of respect. Respect for yourself, respect for me, respect for everyone we encounter. Etiquette is the only manual we can use to learn the codes of societal behavior. What is acceptable in the society? The behaviors that are right, the behaviors that are wrong. Etiquette teaches you to be comfortable whenever you meet people. For example, you find yourself in a social gathering and you see people interacting, having fun, exchanging pleasantries, but you are alone to yourself, feeling awkward and out of place. You don't know how to interact with people and you wonder, is something wrong with me? Why aren't people talking to me? Well, sometimes you have to take the bold step to talk to people. And maybe you tried and it backfired. Maybe someone shunned you and you think those people are rude, yes. Nobody likes people who are rude or inconsiderate, but most times the problem is with us. There are things we need to do. There are ways we need to approach people. There are ways we conduct and comport ourselves that people want to be around us. And that is why I'm here. I will be taking you through the course of social etiquette. All you need to know how to handle yourself in a social gathering, in the public, and how to put your best foot forward every time. My name is Ejira Odaudu, and this is my Safito Original.